We're now in the laboratory getting ready to mount our maxillary cast using our Coys index tray from the Coys Dental Facial Analyzer. In preparation for that, we do want to adjust our incisal pin to zero and lock it in place with the screw. We can then remove the standard waxing guide from the Coys adjustable platform. We can loosen the lock screw here on the side and adjust this to the zero line for mounting the maxillary cast. So tighten that in place there. We can index that to the lower magnetic mounting plate on the lower frame of the articulator. We can then add the Coys index tray to the platform. You can see how the platform creates a built-in bite fork support system. We then add our cast into the indentations onto the index tray. And if your cast happens to want to tilt back a little bit, we do have little cutouts here on the side of the platform where we can take a rubber band and we can put this over the cast and it'll help hold that in place during the mounting procedures. We can then add the mounting plate to the upper frame of the articulator. We can add some plaster to the mounting plate and to the study cast, swinging this around, making a connection of the upper model to the upper frame of the articulator. So we'll go ahead and mix some plaster at this time. Okay, we've mixed some plaster and we'll go ahead and add some plaster first to the mounting plate. Make sure you get it around the center retention lug really well. And we want to go ahead and fill the plate up because we also have some retention tabs along the outer edges of the plate. We'll add a little bit of plaster to our model here. We don't really need too much, we just need to make a connection. We can always beef it up later. So I think we go ahead and make a connection at this point. Okay, that looks good right there. We'll go ahead and let this set this time. The plaster is now set, so in preparation for that, we can take a pair of scissors to cut the rubber band. We'll cut it on the other side as well. And before we remove the cast or open the frame, we do want to release the centric lap so we can hold the lower frame down and lift the model straight up out of the coist index tray. This will prevent the incisors from being broken off by the little wall in the front of the index tray. We can now remove the Coist Index Tray, which is a permanent Facebook registration record. We're going to add the patient's name and date and maybe use that at a future time. We can go ahead and remove the Coist Adjustable Platform and we can now go ahead and mount the lower cast at this time.